Mark Webber, and I swear to God, this is a real thing that happened in reality, and I'm not making this up. It's not some weird dream that I had. This actually happened. Mark Webber, who never won the World Championship, did a TV commercial for milk. Camembert or Camen, Camembert milk. It doesn't matter what type of milk. The point is, it was milk. They forced him to sing a song about milk. And yes, of course I have the clip. Are you ready for the clip? Brace yourselves, because this is Mark Webber, who is not a Formula One world champion, doing a TV commercial where they forced him to sing a song about milk. I, 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 I'm a Canberra milk kid. From the time that I was old enough, my mum would pour a great big cup. And since then I've been drinking, it keeps my mind a thinking. Wherever I am, wherever I roam, the thing that always brings me home is the taste that I've been missing. The Canberra milk tradition. And that's why I keep coming back to proudly wear my milk moustache. Cause I, 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 I'm a Canberra milk kid. Yeah, that is the level. So to be clear... That was actually Mark Webber singing a song about milk. It's embarrassing. Now imagine if he won the world championship. He'd be doing a commercial for a fancy watch or a bank or some fancy pedophile fashion brand or some crypto scam. He's singing about milk. And that's what Felipe Massa's legal team are saying. They're saying if he wasn't robbed of the 2008 world championship... He would have made way more money over the course of his career. In fact, let me read out, let me stop yelling and let me read out the actual statements from Massa's legal team. Here we go. From the independent.co.uk, the firm acting on Massa's behalf alleges that the 42-year-old has been a victim of a conspiracy committed by individuals at the highest level of Formula One, together with the FIA and Formula One management. It adds that Massa has lost out on tens of millions of euros in lost earnings and bonuses as a result of missing out on the 2008 title. The letter from Massa's lawyers sent to Formula One and the FIA states, Mr. Massa is the rightful 2008 driver's champion and F1 and the FIA deliberately ignored the misconduct that cheated him out of the title. Mr. Massa is unable to fully quantify his losses, but at this stage estimates that they are likely to exceed tens of millions of euros. Bloody hell. So they really are going for it. They really are gunning for the FIA because they want those fat stacks. And maybe that's what this is all about. You know, maybe Felipe Bassa is a bit tight for cash. I mean, yeah, he made millions when he was driving for Ferrari. And I'm sure when he retired, he had plenty of guacamole in the bank. But you know how it goes. The cost of living crisis. You've got a mouth to feed. Maybe the wife wants a brand new alligator skin backpack. They ain't cheap. So eventually, the money runs out, and then you've got to start looking at commercial opportunities. But you're not a world champion, so nobody's going to pay you to try and flog the fancy watches or the overpriced sweatpants. The only thing you can flog is milk, and you've got to memorise a jingle, and it's embarrassing. How did the jingle go? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm a cam and milk kid. If you do that in a commercial publicly, and you're any sort of reasonable person, you are so overwhelmed with shame that afterwards you put a gun in your mouth and blow your head off. Or the other option, you can try and overturn the result of a world championship and take legal action against the FIA. That's why I'm rooting for Massa. I want Massa to get those fat stacks because I don't want to see him singing about milk. 